Wizards family, let's go ahead and talk about this final loss of the season, uh, 114 to 109 uh, to the losing to the Houston Rockets. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video. I do appreciate any sort of like, uh, you know, comments, questions, feedback, and give. And the comment section is always respectful. And uh, you know, go ahead and shoot the Twitter handle at Point Wizards a follow as well. Uh, do the game threads and content as much as I can on the Wizards. So let's go ahead and get into this game real quick. Uh, I was drinking, watching this, to be honest with you. This was not a uh, game I was looking forward to beyond the fact the season was really over. Uh, mainly because I thought the Wizards were going to mess around and lose this one and mess up their draft positioning. It was what they should be playing for or uh, at this point. And, uh, you know, the first quarter scared the hell out of me. Uh, they were down 10 early, but then found a way to be up 15, like 35 to 20 at some point. It's like, damn, one, I knew the Rockets were bad and very undisciplined. Excuse me, especially on offense and just transition D. And like, unless they're going for like a clear uh, block, they were hoisting threes and kind of getting back on defense. It was kind of disgusting to watch at times. But thankfully, they were able to pull it through uh, by the fourth quarter. The Wizards maintained the lead, I think, for the first three quarters. And the Rockets were able to get back in it uh, really just by playing better basketball, just being a little bit more physical, a little more fast, uh, not letting uh, Xavier Cooks take as many rebounds in the fourth because um, he was eating boards today too. So it is um, happy, a happy moment. Uh, the Wizards are going to end up with the seventh best uh, lottery odds going into the lottery uh, draft thingy with the ping pong balls. I forget the name, whatever. Uh, like I said, I was drinking. But, um it's game, man. Let's talk about it. Uh, some positive signs and takeaways from the players. Uh, for one, let's talk about a guy we haven't seen all season. Guys, they get tied, right? Been asking for all season, especially the past couple weeks when the Wizards are basically out of contention. Finished today, uh, four points, twelve rebounds, four assists, and a steal. Uh, the shooting was not encouraging. To be honest with you, the three points he was just launching them. Some he shot over the hoop. Some were just like clear air balls, and it was tough to watch. To be honest, um, he only hit one three out of seven. Hit one shot from the field out of seven as well. So the shooting was not there. However, I don't think that really deterred him, and that was a good thing for me to see. Played forty five minutes, got twelve boards in the process, um, and four assists. And people want to crap on, like, oh, he didn't have a great game. He didn't shoot it well. Oh, why do you care about rebounds? Um, For one, when a guy's not hitting, he can easily, uh, hitting from the field, he can easily uh, tap out of the game, uh, just be unmotivated. And uh, Isaiah did not show that, at least based on the, the, the what I saw in the stat line uh, and what I saw on the court with my blurry vision. Uh, I think it's enough to say, like, he should be in camp next year again with the opportunity um, after the Summit League, of course, we should also be in. Um, with the opportunity to, con to compete to see if we can crack the main rosters, like end of, uh, you know, end of the rotation or end of bench minutes. Uh, as nice as it's been for him to develop in the G League, I think next year that's the league people are expecting from him. Um, and the Wizards are giving him the shot to do. Because if not, um, that is the trade that keeps eating away at my soul. 22 to 31, just to get him and Aaron Holiday. But I have some optimism slash, like, it's damn time for us uh, to see what he's got. Plus, the, the four assists were nice. Like, he's willing to move the ball, obviously. Like, he shot a lot of shots. But at the same time, though, like, a lot of guys did. The other guy did, Johnny Davis, 420 from the field, five rebounds, five assists, two steals, and a block. Ugly, ugly, ugly game, uh, mainly because he shot 15 threes. He only shot 20% from there, hitting three threes. Uh, that's something he's got to work on. He's got to work on his free throw shooting, really. I'm not sure if it's form or what, but the numbers this season just have not been good. Even if it's a uh, very uh, welcome comeback these past couple of weeks, it's been enjoyable to see him hoop again. A uh, much more confident level. At the same time, though, we need uh, a little bit more. Just a little bit more, Johnny. That's all. That's all. And I'll come. Between your strengths uh, training, he wants to add 10 pounds of muscle this all season. He said um, that'll be great to see and uh, just hopefully can work on his form. Jordan Goodwin, uh, leading scorer of the game, 22 points, uh, 8 of 14 shooting, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, a block. Uh, you know, he's a guy that people are thinking, like, if they don't get a point guard or if they move some point guards, maybe he can play backup. I think I'm fine with him as a backup. Uh, I don't want him to start, per se, if there's a better option, uh, mainly because I'm concerned about the turnovers and his, like, uh, he defers too much, I think, when Brad and them are, 
or playing, but today he was able to push the pace, uh, really get downhill off transitions from steals and the rebounds he got. Uh, it just added the whole team played with great pace today. Um, that was just very encouraging to see. That's something you don't really see with the starting lineup, uh, mainly because that's not how Coach Russ Elsell Jr. really runs the plays. So um, it was great for them to be able to just really do that. And Jordan Good was the key catalyst to that in 29 minutes. Uh, Xavier Cooks, 10 points, forcing rebounds. Like, if you weren't going to do it against the Rockets, I don't know who you're going to do it to, uh, especially on the boards. Um, he's been kind of passive, struggling, I think, in his first, uh, you know, end of the, you know, free stints here uh, or games or whatever. And, you know, uh, kind of tempers my expectations going into next season. I thought he'd be a little bit more aggressive, trying to attack the rim, trying to yam on people and stuff like that. But, I, you know, he plays like a nice guy. He plays like a taller Anthony Gill in some ways. Less shooting from three. More around just trying to drive and pass it or dish it out or something. Um, yeah, I think those are most of the guys. Corey had 18 points, 5 of 7 for 3, 6 of 8 from the field. Only played 12 minutes. Probably because they're trying to tank like they're supposed to. But that was a welcome sight to see nonetheless. Um, got cooked on defense as always is what it is. Quentin Jackson, 9-13 from the field for 19 points, 5 assists, 2 rebounds. Would be interesting to see him on the roster depending on how many other guards are ahead of him. Uh, right now, do not have him over most of the guards on the rotation. And it'd be hard to see him crack it without like a serious commitment to defense. Um, at least just trying to stay in front of your man. He just gets blown by a lot like a lot of other guys and... It's nice to have to have the athleticism, but I am interested in seeing like what other two way guys they might have, uh, being able to come in next year. Um, and other than that, I mean that was about it, man. It was great to see, uh, you know, people. Uh, <laughs> it was great to see some youth in another team be able to, you know, look struggling at sometimes and then look like they're figuring it out at other times. The Rockets has just been a, uh, you know, a painful conundrum I imagine for Rockets fans this season, uh, but exciting. As excitement could go, as exciting as they could, it, it could be at their highest, um, but very probably discouraging at their lowest, especially with how many times they hit their lowest. Uh, they weren't the lowest against the Wizards today, though, so happy they got the dub. Uh, again, better for the Wizards in the long haul um, is what it is. So thank you all for tuning in. More content will come, but this has been a great season. Uh, even though it's only been up for a few months, I'm going to do the full next season as much as I can uh, next year. So look forward to that. Look forward to more business content in the coming weeks, months, et cetera, et cetera. In the meantime, until then, uh, enjoy the playoffs. Take some time off and uh, watch some good basketball teams for once.